This is, I think, 2001 BMW. Yeah, it's not M. Probably 325, 323, one of those. You see what's going on? Front turn signals don't work. There's like a whole bunch of stuff in the dashboard with the lights. One light bulb is out. Okay, so here's what the customer wants. He wants undercar lights. All right, so today we're gonna be installing, it's called rock light, whatever, undercar lights. This is the whole kit, it comes with basically everything. The only thing is that I installed this kit on a Durango, actually the same uh, owner of this car. The first thing I have to do is lay everything out. I have to see where I can mount these pods. Uh, the first thing I need to do is figure out where I'm gonna put the controller. So I assume I'm gonna put it somewhere in the front of the car. Don't know yet where, but let's just lay out here. Should go closer to either the battery or some other power source. So I'm more thinking I'm gonna put it in the engine bay. Okay, the lights. The lights, we have six pods. So, six pods, so I assume two on each side and one in the front and the back. All right, so the whole idea is to place these pods somewhere on the side of the car. You know it's not gonna get hurt from whatever underneath the breeze and uh, people putting jacks uh, or lifts or whatever. So here's the chassis of the car. So I think I'm gonna be trying to install it somewhere in this area. You can see right here, it's like a groove in there. Probably gonna be doing it like this. Since it's a sedan, um, it's gonna be on the floor. The light is gonna be on the floor right away, uh, as soon as you turn it on. As far as the front, well, I don't know. I haven't figured this out yet. Somewhere probably on the front bumper. However, I don't really want to because the front bumper, people scrape. This is BMW, people scrape everything with these front bumpers. So, probably the cover somewhere. I haven't figured this out yet. And as far as the back, we have the spare, spare tire uh, compartment. And we have uh, the back bumper too. So, still debating. Maybe actually right here where the spare is, but at the same time, you know, in front of the bumper. So not really in the bumper, and not really in the middle, so somewhere in this area. So let's see, um, I always want to do the sides first. And the biggest point of this, you don't want to install it close to the exhaust because of the heat. You have to gonna be, I'm gonna have to run the, the wires across. So the best way to do it is running across one of these uh, beams or maybe this one. But then keep in mind and parts like this may be taking off in the future. So it's not gonna look very pretty the way I do it, but I try to do it as secure as possible. So on that note, we're going to get to it. All right, the whole purpose of me opening up this hood is that I need to put the controller, which is right here. I have to put it somewhere inside the engine compartment. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this lamp and I'm gonna put it somewhere in here so that I could see from the bottom, I guess, where, where to put it. I, it's harder to do in uh, these cars than the control on this side because I have our cable right here. Yeah, also this, this person wants me to put a button inside the car to be able to turn it on and off. So power is right here ground I can get ground anywhere so I'm just gonna run the controller to this side and then I'm gonna lift up the car and start looking for a place to put it I to feed it through okay, let's tighten it up okay so one note why I finally went back to this location this side of the car is because exhaust is on that side I don't want to play with that it gets pretty hot so she's gonna 
wire it here probably gonna place it in this location where the brake booster is and stuff like that somewhere on the side and then I'm just gonna run the wire from the positive on this side right here and so on and so forth we're gonna continue with that you're gonna see I have to take this off and screw it, disconnect it. It will be easier this way. So I need to just make a hole. So I need to mark it somehow. I'm gonna use uh, one screw in each one of these pods, additional to the silicone or glue, whatever you, you wanna use it to hold this. So I'm gonna use these, I don't know what to call them, insulators or something. They go like this. So it will be nicer to shim it out on both, on each side, like left and right side, since we're putting it kind of like in a hole, so it'll stick a little bit out more. Plus it would give us uh, a little bit, a little bit of a cushion and secure the wire bit. So, in order to use the glue, you want to make sure the surface is clean. Otherwise, it's going to stick to the dirt and not the surface. So I'm using gum cutter, carbon cleaner, whatever, you, whatever, whatever. All right, so you clean it off, let it dry for a little bit. Uh, if it has, it has like heavy dirt, you might want to use a brush or something. But yeah, this is what I do. So in this area, we're gonna put it right in here somewhere. Okay, perfect. Need to unhook this one. Okay, now I need to feed the wire through here. This is what I do. Maybe not the right thing to do, but I put silicone over here, a little bit all over the place, just in case, especially where the wire is. Then I put the the pod on this rubber pad like this. Then I take the pad and put silicone in here. So you could see all these empty spots. And again, especially where the wire is, when the screw goes in. To bet I only have two pairs of hands. Another one or even two more hands would help. But anyway, you have to put it like this, feed the screw through. So for the front of the car, here's what I'm gonna do. Since this car is pretty messed up and in heat, I don't worry, it's always like that. Not only with the BMWs, old cars too. So I'm gonna use this, whatever it is, scraper on the other side of this cover right here. So it's gonna be on the other side and I'm gonna mount this through here to that. I hope you get it. So now the lights are in place. Well, the pods are in place. So we need to run the wires. Um, so in this particular um, situation, oh, I wanna run the wires along the, these brake and fuel lines all over on this side. And on that side, we're gonna touch that topic after I'm done here.
here's my connection so i was thinking how to do this i need a switch and this is bmw so it's not easy to wire up anything in this thing So I decided I'm gonna use parking lights. Well, it's supposed to be there, but I took it out. See, right there. Parking lights to uh, power up the undercar lights. So I'm installing a relay here. It's going from the positive terminal. That's where I'm gonna get the um, power from. And then, I'm going to connect it to a uh, power on the parking light right here. So you don't have to have the headlights on, but you need to have parking lights on, uh, which makes sense anyway, because the car might be running anyway, when uh, because the voltage drops if it doesn't, and then relay wouldn't turn on. Uh, it's a it's a good uh, it's a good good system uh, so that the car won't drain the battery anyway so I'm gonna use these things here to tap into this wire here and connect and use this as a signal to activate the relay let's test out the relay so after all the work is done this is where I grounded it this is this this connected to the parking light like i said the controller box is right in here i put extra silicone on it to insulate it the relay everything is wired up all the wires go through this area and only the ones they need are coming up that's it everything everything is nice and clean over here So after about six hours of work on this vehicle, installing undercar lights, I also did a couple of other things like repair these two marker lights slash turn signals. Just couldn't pass it on like that. I would say that I'm beat. <laughs> Today I'm beat. I just want to go home and I want to lay down and fall asleep until the morning comes. It's not so much because of a physical work, but so much because thinking about what I'm doing and how to do it the right way and trying to put out as much effort towards doing this job as good as possible so that this customer will not come back to me in the future, in the near future, with the problem that I have done. Unintentionally, of course. But, you know, was it really worth it? I mean, how much would this work like this cost? Some people might ask. Well, six hours of work well you do the math what would somebody charge you in your area where you live where you get work like this done you find out but however was it worth it for the person who asked me to do this for them i don't know does the 18 year old smile worth the money spent on this project i think so if it was my 18 year old that i gave this car to the way it is i think he or she would really be thankful and one thing i didn't tell you i had to actually redo the wiring unfortunately uh because this car has a canvo system and controls these marker lights every time i would turn the marker lights on the voltage would drop and the undercar lights would not come on so i had to connect it to fog lights but then tomorrow it is also going to be an excitement for me to see how happy the owner of this car will be when they see this what do you think please comment below like share and subscribe some drive-by videos for you too